So my name is Cole Young. I'm a product specialist here at 21st Century Equipment. My main focus is hay and forage equipment. Behind me, we've got this brand new 561R heavy duty baler by John Deere. There've been a lot of changes on these round balers, probably more changes than we've seen in the last 15 years with John Deere's round balers. So probably the most exciting one that I can point out here right behind me is our new fully integrated bale scale system. So we can set up this system to weigh every single bale, every 15th bale, or we can just set it up to run it manually. So being able to see that data live on the display is pretty crucial for baling operations. So with this brand new 561R, uh, we've got the capability here with a brand new pickup head. So this pickup head is a dual rotor design. So what we have with that is we have a 33% increased capacity over our standard mega wide pickups. That's a big number, right? Our standard mega wide pickups, we're already bailing very, very quickly. We're spitting a bailout in certain conditions, 45 seconds. So 33% map faster, more capacity. That's gonna be able to be more efficient, especially in our larger windrow applications. Maybe we're in cereal grains, maybe we're in some heavy straw. So this pickup head is really, really gonna maximize the efficiency of this baler. Another thing we like to get into on this baler specifically is we can utilize baler automation so if we have the proper tractor hooked up to the front of this baler it's going to take a lot of that operator fatigue and a lot of that work away from the operator so what it'll do is our bales full we're going to wrap it it's going to stop the tractor it's going to automatically wrap that bale it's going to automatically kick that bale out close the gate put us back in gear and we're off to the races with zero input from that operator So right behind me here, we're standing next to a brand new W235R wind rower. What I really wanna showcase here is these W200 series wind rowers have a cooling capacity unlike any other machine. So we're pulling cool air in from up top here. Behind this hood here, we're pulling in cool air. You can see the cone design up there, but what I really wanna showcase is how easy it is to do maintenance out here and blow out these coolers, maybe daily, maybe weekly, however you're set up in your operation. So very, very easy to get to. Your rotary screen opens up. You come right in here. The outer section of your cooler opens up. And now it is extremely wide open to be able to blow this thing out at the end of the day. Very, very quick, very, very efficient. So one of the most important things back here, like you just saw me open this thing up, getting these two coolers out of the way, very, very quick, very easy the way everything's on hinges. So when we're doing our daily maintenance, maybe our weekly maintenance, it just makes this area a lot more open and a lot easier to blow out. So my name's Hank Jackson. I'm a precision ag consultant. And on the round baler that I'm standing in front of, they have introduced bale dock. And what bale dock's gonna do is that it allows you to keep track of average yield across your field, moisture, and how much bales weigh, which is gonna be a lot handier for guys tracking bale information within Op Center. So on the John Deere windrowers, there's now a availability for a mowing and swathing documentation layer. So you can push that into Op Center to keep better track of the time that you cut the field. So then you're able to filter back through and see last time cut and kind of keep a better track of hay acres. Now you're able to to actually accurately track your bales across your entire hay operation. You're able to see average tonnage across the field, average moisture, you can locate high moisture bales to keep them separate from your other bales that are lower moisture. And then the swathing coverage map, we haven't had that before. It's really gonna allow hay operators to utilize operation center more. Hello, I'm Isabel Drobny. I'm a precision ag consultant out of the Greeley location, showcasing new equipment, new technology, and hosting lots of classes for our customers. Today, I was in a class talking about machine connectivity, and I touched on the topic of SFRTK with the new 7,000 and 7,500 receivers. And the main takeaway with that is the lower cost of entry using the highest level of accuracy that's available right now, as well as covering customers in areas that we haven't been able to before due to base station access and location. So it's a great alternative for good accuracy at a lower upfront cost than before. The Ag Essentials kit costs $4,000 and comes with the G5 display, a 7,000 receiver, and a JD-Link modem, either an M or R modem, depending on your choice. Technology continues to advance. The 7,000 receiver has a lot more capabilities than before. A great component of it is that it has 23 replaceable parts. So previously on your receivers, you would have to send them in to get repaired. Now we can 
repair at least 23 of these pieces, getting you guys up and running quicker than before um, instead of having to send a receiver away for a long period of time. The other thing is as we move closer to autonomy, a 7500 receiver will be needed and this is a good step for those high definition boundaries, getting the highest level of accuracy, utilizing SFRTK if that is what you're looking for um, and that's all capable with this receiver right here in my hands.